Right guys, Gaft is back with the explanation to that incredible card trick you will have seen yesterday. Yes, incredible. We're going to start out with my favourite lady, the Jack of Spades. Crimping her from the face down. Placing this card on the bottom. So now you can freely give these cards a little shuffle, but don't shuffle all the way to the bottom. Maybe about three quarters of the way down. So you've got a small packet in your hand. Drop these on top and then just quickly cut at that crimped card with your thumb and cut a few packets on the top. So to the spectator you've shuffled the cards and you have shuffled the cards but your lady's on the bottom. You're now going to deal the cards then until the spectator calls out stop. Let's say they call out stop right here. Let them take a look at this card which is the six of hearts. Leave it on the top and bury it. Now you know the six of hearts is roughly bottom third of the packet so you have a bit of leeway to shuffle oops the top portion but when you get to about halfway or whatever you can just drop this packet on the top and then off the cuff you're going to cut at that crimp and drop these on the top so now spectators card will be on the top as long as your crimp is on the bottom you'll now say well, I'm going to take it four random cards you've got four chances to find your card. You're going to take out four random cards, push them over to the side and as you turn your hand over to strip these cards out you're going to get push over and get a break. Now you can get a massive break if you want, this will be completely hidden. So as you turn your hand over you're going to catch a break. It can be big because as you put these on the top you're going to steal that card away. We'll go over that one more time. You've got your four cards, you're going to push them over to the side as you turn your hand over, you're going to push off this card. Now, like I say, you can catch a big break if you want. It's going to be completely hidden when you pick it up again. So, you're going to take out any four cards. Push them over to the side. As you strip them out, you're going to catch a massive break on that bottom card or top card. And you're just going to steal it off the deck. Place these down. You'll now just quickly show the four cards by peeling off the top card. The next card, this card you're not going to, you'll peel it off but just reveal the two of diamonds keeping these cards in this position. Squaring everything up and now you're going to show the cards one more time. Now I've no idea what this move is called. I can do it but I've got no idea. I'm sure somebody in the comments will tell me what it's called. Middle finger, top corner, thumb bottom corner you're going to slide off the top card with your thumb you're then going to get your index finger and slide off the bottom card you're then going to get your middle finger and slide off the next card now this two of diamonds should be the double which you're going to hide by keeping it together so you're going to slide off the top card slide off the bottom card with your index finger slide off the next card with your middle finger holding this double showing these four cards Square everything up and then just do one more convincer, which is the Alms account. Won't go over that, we all know how to do that. So you're going to do a quick Alms account. When you get to this point, this last card will go on the bottom. At this point, you can ask the spectator, Have you seen your card? They'll go, No. And then you can say, Are you sure? And spread these cards and say, Look, because there is one card face down in the packet. Wouldn't it be mad if this was your? Six of Arts. So that's how it works, guys. There are a few moves in there. If the gaffer can do them, anyone can do them. Just practice, practice, practice. So cheers for all your support over the years, guys. Uh, big shout out to Immortal Playing Cards for sending me the Red Roses playing cards. And uh, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the gaffer, and come back tomorrow for another card trick. Cheers.